This video is not suitable for audiences under 13 years of age. Hello everyone, Mixman Gaming here. Welcome to my channel. Today we're taking a look at some more Mecarina action. And this particular video is going to be a little bit different. I'm going to go over a few small quality of life things that I wish Polarium would actually implement in their game. And then if there's time, I might just hop into a tournament uh, game just to round it out. So that being said, let's hop quickly into here. So there's a few things I want to talk about. One, I can't really show right now, but I will talk about it. When you start the game, there's this, what I would consider relatively lengthy tutorial you have to go through. And for a new player, that's fine, well, and good. No problem there. However, for me, for instance, I decided to install Mecarina on another device. Just because I can do some testing and I don't always have to be worrying about playing with one device. If I'm not recording, then I usually just play with my other phone. That being said, I had to go through the process and go through the tutorial. It probably took me about 10 minutes to go through all this before I got to the point where I could link to my account and then essentially download and get my stuff back where I currently am in the progress. What I wish they would do is implement a splash screen, which if you haven't don't have your account no, no connected to anything, if it's your first time opening it up, then it gives you the option right then and there to link to your account so you don't have to go through that tutorial process again. Other games has this, Call of Duty Mobile has this. So why are you forcing the players to go through your tutorial if they are if they already have an account and they would just want to link to it? Uh, maybe something goes wrong with my device and I just I need to reinstall the game. Well, if I reinstall the game, I have to go through the tutorial and then relink my account 10 minutes or so later after I'm finished it. So one thing I wish they would do is just give you that initial splash screen that says, are you a returning player? And then give you the option to relink it. Or are you a new player? And then it gets, sends you through the tutorial. The second issue I have is if you notice on my screen here on the bottom left, it says I have new messages. I actually don't have new messages. These are messages I've already looked at, but they are not clearing out. All this stuff I've actually gone through, and some of them are actually uh, probably a day or maybe even too old. So it goes in here and it clears out. You'll see that it came through and it got rid of the little green envelope. However, if I log out and log back into the app, those messages now come across as being new still. So there's some kind of a bug there that I wish they would just get rid of because I don't want to keep looking at my messages or from friends of mine who may want to play or have a question if they're not even new messages. Thirdly, and this has actually been a pain point of mine from the very beginning is, and I'm not going to do it right now, but if you go and you, let's say I was going through the process and I just, I was going, I was playing a lot of tournament mode and I went in there and then I said, well, I just, I just want to hop into a quick match or vice versa. I'm just doing quick match, but I've gotten now in the habit of pressing tournament and then I hit that tournament button. The second you start a match, you cannot cancel it. I would like them to give you the ability that during that 15 or 30 second countdown, if you haven't been put into a match to be able to cancel it. There's been numerous times where I've gone in and I've just accidentally pressed the wrong mode and then I'm stuck doing it. And usually what happens is it's getting later at night. The tournament is about to end or it's winding down and I'm grinding out tournaments. And just because I was playing uh, CPC a whole bunch during the day as a break, I got in the habit of pressing CPC. Then I come in, I hit CPC and I'm like, oh crap, I want to do tournament. And there's only maybe 15 minutes left and I'm still in first place or second place. I'm trying to get there and those minutes matter. And unfortunately, even if you go in the quick match and you leave, or let's say you close your device and try to come back in so you can start a new match, you can't. You're put into the previous match that you already started. I don't have a problem with the ladder, where if you start a match, then you have to go back and finish it before you start another one. That I don't have a problem with. But I would like the ability to cancel a match if you have not dropped in it yet. Those are the three quality of life items I, I really wish they would implement in this game. Sure, there's other things, for instance, we can talk about, like the events right now. There's two events going on, and you go on the development derby here, and 
the event is it's not worth it. Some of these events are coming through with the tasks that have to be done are not worth the time and effort. People are going to these events to earn resources. If you have to spend more resources than you would earn in the event, then what's the point? I applaud Plarium for putting in these events. It's an awesome addition. No problems there. And I wholeheartedly support it. However, some of these are absolutely insane to try to do. Upgrade chassis or weapons 10 times? You know how much, how much credits you're going to spend, especially if you get in the later game, that you're going to spend hundreds of thousands of credits in, at some point. Yes, you can go in and you can upgrade, say, your RPG-4s or something, or your autocannon 2s. And that might be worthwhile to do for one, maybe two events. But you do that enough times and you're not going to have the lower end weapons to upgrade anymore. Similarly, the last one there, upgrade and uh, the rank of a chassis or a weapon three times. Well, the lowest end ranking is 50 A coins to do. So if you do that three times and you get the lowest tier possible to upgrade, you're already spending 150 A coins to do that. And in the end, yes, you, you can possibly get up to 1,000 A coins, which is... No, it's, it's a good banker, but you spend 150, so you get an 850 more. However, again, that relies on that you have the still lower end weapons or chassis that you can upgrade. So you have to upgrade them to get to the point to ranking, and then you have to rank them up. And if you look at the rewards up top, from the two amateur crates, you get about 4,000 credits, plus the additional 1,000, so that's 9,000 credits. There's no way you can do these upgrades here without spending more than 9,000 credits. There's no way. So, well, okay, there is a way. It, again, if you get the really, really low-end stuff, I think there's like 200 credits or 300 credits, or etc. But once you get up one single rank, whatever, then, then you're going to be using more credits. But anyways, semantics. So, on the face of it, so what I'm going to try and probably do here, I'm going to see if I can get to the 50 and get the 375 A coins. But I'm not going all the way because I'm going to spend more credits than I have to. So, Plarium, you need to relook at some of these events because it just doesn't make logical sense to being put effort into these when you when in the end you're getting less back. And I feel for the players that have things almost nearly maxed out. You you want players to spend like you no know, a couple thousand A coins or whatever it is to to rank up? No. Are players going to spend hundreds of thousands of credits to do some of these tasks so they get the rewards? No. So your events need to be structured in such a way that they are achievable and actually make sense in terms of costing for resources for as many players as you possibly can. You want players to do these events. You want them to participate. You want them to play your game. Well, you also have to make, you have to make it worth their while to do so and putting out less resources as a reward than it would, would cost to actually do the tasks makes absolutely no sense. The other, the deathmatch one, I don't have any problems with. Uh, it's Yes, I've played lots of matches and I've only gotten two gold medals. And I've only gotten two first bloods. So those two are probably going to be the hardest ones for me to do. But if I can get one of them done, that's fine. Uh, again, the MVP in 15 matches. Again, for me, I, I'm in Division 3. And I am finding I'm running into more powerful players, players that have more powerful stuff than I do. So it is becoming a bit of a challenge for me to do this. But I will grind it out. There's five days left, and I think I should be able to get it. So how are we doing? Okay, so we're at nine minutes here. And uh, you know what? I'm, I'm, let's just hop into a quick tournament battle and see how it goes. Now, again, don't expect a very stellar gameplay here. This is probably one of the worst maps that they have right now for tournament for me. I love to run my kill shot with javelins and I just, I cannot run them in this map. This is one of the reasons why I'm actually saving up my credits is because I want to get missile rack sixes so that when I come into tournaments with match, with maps like this, then I can swap out my javelins and put the missile rack six on. So we look on the other side, we have, looks like we have some pretty strong players. So we'll start with the Guardian here. Three, and two, hopefully one, I do halfway decent. Go. So I'm going to go over to the side here and come and get in my way, please. 
pop in down here and he's gonna get in my way again I'll just use him as a shield then okay so here we go somebody's coming in and of course you hit me don't hit the guy right in front of you okay go up here I'm gonna see if I can hit that guy over there if he no he's not gonna come through there's probably going to be guys coming up behind me here. i got to be careful about that. Uh, there he is right there. Okay. Got him, but of course he hit me. Which is not what I wanted in this match. And here comes another guy. It's a panther. Okay. I don't think I hit him. Damn it. She just backed off when I went to do that. This is what I'm saying. I'm just, I get surrounded by all these much more powerful builds than I am. And just, this is not the map for me. I really rely on my kill shot with javelins a lot. And I just, I can't do that with this map. How did that take off more damage when I was behind that corner? 7-7. Seven, seven. I wonder if I can get that Ares there before the time runs out. Uh, he's up behind there. I don't think I can get to him. I gotta push. I gotta push. I gotta push. He's up here. Damn it. Damn it. Uh, I just... I don't have the bots and weapons for this map. I really don't. If I can just get set up in the right position, I'll be okay. Okay, I got him. All right, so. Oh, crap, 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 crap. And these things never seem to miss. Okay, so he's got a... I think he had long arms back there. I thought I saw them flying by. Yeah, so he's coming out. Yeah, he's coming. Ah, uh, I'm kind of stuck here. Go on up. Okay, so he's gone in there. So there's another guy here. Darn it, that didn't hit him either. Crap. See, this is what I mean. I, I can't go anywhere. I just get stuck in this map. There's three guys over here, and if I peek out, I'm pretty much dead. Okay, can I get these guys here? They're all not looking my way. So I got the panther anyways, and now they're going to all kill me here. Back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. Okay, I need you to put up that shield, boy. Can you, don't you have your shield to put up? Darn it. Uh, we're going to lose this map match. I needed that panther there to put up his shield. I don't know why he didn't put up his shield. Uh, I tried. Oh, well, so that's it. See, I can get I get best Mac, but I can't get the wins. And I didn't get any gold uh, medals either, which is what I need for some of these tasks too. Got a thousand damage, so I got an MVP. Oh, I did get a gold medal. Okay, so that's good. At least I made a little bit more progress towards that battle. Was it Battlethon? What is it called? No, Deathmatch Mania. All right, so I'm gonna call it a video here. It's now getting close to 15 minutes, so. I hope you enjoyed the content. Uh, let me know below if, uh, what pain point, uh, sorry, what pain points you have with the game, any quality of life improvements that you would like to see, and uh, no, hopefully, no, you uh, enjoyed the video. Give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing. And until next time, cause some mayhem in the field for me.